Our King and Savior draweth nigh. Come, let us adore him. Welcome to the 18th day of our online Advent calendar. You probably noticed something different in the Advent wreath this morning. We've added the central candle, the Christ candle, uh, which hasn't been there yet, but that does not get lit until Christmas Eve. So today is the 18th, so let's find out what's behind number 18. Behind number 18, we have an Advent wreath with all four candles lit. With only a week to go before the great feast of the Incarnation, we come closer to the familiar story from St. Matthew chapter 1. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took Mary as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son and he named him Jesus. Let us pray the Collect for Advent 4. Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thanks for watching. It's good to be with you as we begin this final leg of our Advent journey together. May you know the peace of God and his blessing in your life this and every day. Hope to see you tomorrow.